Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm hanging out here with Lucifer, the dwarf came in, and uh, it's nighttime, it's just about dusk, and this is when he really loves to come out. I haven't seen him because I've been gone for a week, but what I wanna do is try and get him fed. He's been definitely eating now since I've been doing my thing. Let's see if he's hungry. I'll put a chick right here. Is he in the mood? Oh boy. Let's see. He usually will eat right there. Get two chicks. I just wanted to check these guys out, man. See how the Cayman Creek is doing. I'm gonna leave these two right there and we'll see what happens with him. But I wanna walk around and see what else has happened in the Cayman Creek. It is just starting to really get, you know, full. These uh, traveler's palms are starting to establish. I love that. We've got the beautiful wetland here. And what's happening there, let me see if I could get some more light on this. Here we go. Uh, we've got the fish are doing amazingly well. There's one of the convict cichlids right there. And we have a group of those. We've got some papyrus growing in here. This is Mexican papyrus. And there's all kinds of cool little animals floating around here. I'm really digging the fact that there are little fish in here now. The ecosystem is really starting to take off. Here's some canna lilies. Very, very cool. And of course, how about it? It is an Amazon spotted river turtle. Good to see that one there. Very cool. There are two of them in here. I'll bet you the other one is hiding out in the cave. But look at this stream. Everything's flowing nicely. Very, very cool. There's that convict cichlid. Let's see if I can... I uh, went into the cave. These guys like to hide in the caves. Here's another one. There's a couple of them down there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There they are. So cool. There's a female. One of the pink females. She just flew away. Awesome, man. So things are looking really good in this particular area, in this pond. And we're going to, of course, go into the other side. But let's see what's going on with Louie. Louie is just kind of hanging out right now. He's looking awesome. Kind of just walk over here by Lou. Louis St. Fur. Very cool. I love him. He is an awesome, awesome animal. Let's see. I may want to take these chicks. I don't know. He should be able to find them there, but he's looking just great. That is so cool. Awesome stuff, huh? What do you guys think? You liking this? He needs a girlfriend. I got to find him a girlfriend, people. Um, he can't be living alone. He's just too darn cool. Let's go on over and see the smooth front came in. See what they're up to right now. I think I saw the mail was out and about. Let's go have a look. It's crocodilians after dark here. Oh yeah, there's one. Let's see now. I don't know if they like the chicks. They've been eating chicken though, but we have to see. Let me just get this open. Okay. Hold on, guys. Can't share this code. And... Alright. It's hard to do with one hand. As you can imagine. What the heck? There we go. Alright. Let's go in. Let's see what, sh what they are doing in here. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. There's the female. She's looking beautiful. Man, it's that time of day where they're all going to start coming out. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Maybe I'll just give her a chick right here. Give her two chicks. Because she does tend to eat. Look at how beautiful he is, though. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. So amazing. And I, I did mound up all that dirt there, but uh, clearly the female has not been interested in it. I'm just going to take some chicks and see if he'll grab onto those. You can see he's still looking fat and happy, uh, but I still have not seen him eat. I have seen the female eat, but not him. So we'll leave him do his thing. Let's walk over here again. Let's see what she's up to. Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Are you in the mood? 
I don't know if the light will bother her, but let's see. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Wow, they love their cave and they love their pond. They come out at night. So cool. They blew a car in there. We've got those neon tetras too. There they are. They're all just hanging out down the bottom. Wild, can you guys just make them out? Very, very cool. But let's see, we've got some musk turtles in here too. Still got the algae. That'll go away once this whole thing. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Hi. How are you doing? What you doing right here? Oh my gosh. You all right? Just hiding out on this rock area. It's the other Amazon River turtle. Look at all these snails. Holy snails. So many of them. That's incredible. Lots of snails here. So. I guess they're feasting on the algae. So we do have the beginnings of a cool ecosystem right out here in this beautifully contained area. Okay, who else is wandering about this evening as we make our way to this pool? Oh yes, there goes some of the blue cara. And I like that some leaves are falling in here because these guys are from Blackwater Habitat. And this limestone really makes it very um, uh, alkaline. But what'll happen is more leaves that fall in here, it'll help kind of neutralize it, turn it into a more acidic Blackwater Habitat. And I even put some mulch in a bag, in a, in a netted bag into the wetland to try and help that along. Just want to mimic as best I can, um, you know, their their natural uh, water conditions. But they are quite adaptable, um, these fish and turtles. But I'm just looking. Where is everyone? Let's see if Lucifer has made any attempt. Oh, look, he's going back in. <gasps> look, he did. He ate. Guys, he ate. Oh, no, he didn't. The chicks are right there. Ah, bummer. But look at him move, man. He's going to spend the entire evening kind of walking around, swimming around his new habitat. He is fantastic. So cool. Okay, well, if they don't eat, I'll pick up these chicks tomorrow and feed them off to someone who definitely will, like Slinky or some of the monitors. And then I'll probably thaw out some chicken legs because they've really enjoyed those. But my goodness, this smooth front's just fantastic. And you know, the cool thing is, is I get to stand here. I'm really, I'm not too far away from them. Uh, they're happy, man. They just, they don't mind me. They've got enough space, and I think that helps out. I think the space they have um, makes them feel less threatened. Look at this. He's moving a bit. So beautiful, guys. It is just awesome to be in here with these animals and caring for them like Fred wanted. Just two beautiful, three rather, beautiful dwarf caiman species. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's head on over here. Oh, I left my tongs right there, didn't I? We'll leave these chicks right here. Maybe I'll take one of them, place it right there. Okay, let's head back in see what's going on with our friend Lucifer lock this up all right of course the alligators are doing great they probably hear all this commotion over here and they want to see what's going on but we're gonna leave them be I'll feed them in another day or two Let's see. Look at this, look at this guys. That's what he does. He just wanders around all night long. 
That is just fantastic. Look at it. Isn't that cool? Come on. You know you guys love it. Yeah, he doesn't like it if I do that, but how about a snail along? A little snail eating some algae off my gator, or rather caiman. So awesome, man. That is the coolest thing going. All right. Well, we're just gonna leave these guys to their own devices this evening. Let him do his thing. He's gonna walk around. It's perfect time of night for these guys to do their thing. I don't think he likes that flashlight in his face, but you know what? I can't blame him. So there you go. Good times here at the camp. Reptiles are reptiling, fish are fishing, and uh, everything is just evolving nicely and as it should here in this beautiful, beautiful habitat. All right, guys, don't forget, check out some more videos below if you're interested in the channel, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.